my channel, QT DIY. Today is Independence Day. Today is India's Independence Day. So for today, um, I'm going to be making a DIY, of course, of our Indian flag. So first, guys, you have to choose a big um like round circle 3d thing cap another smaller one and then the smallest one to go on the top then you need to keep some tape on it after you're done you need to do it the same for all of them i got i got my little stand over here some water and two paint yeah, two paints. Also, I have a paintbrush. So yeah, let's get painting. I got an idea. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. So yeah, guys, I completed all of these, oops, rings to, yeah, to green, white, orange, or orange. Yeah, orange, white, and green. So yeah, I haven't kept the orange one up because it, it's very, very like, not dry can you see that it looks very nice right just gonna let this dry and come back to you hey guys i let it dry and then it's dry now so these bolts are connected that's nice and this one oh this is still pretty sticky but it's okay now I think I'm gonna hot glue this on or just like tape it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hot glue it on. Guys, this is me editing after the shoot. And actually, I forgot to tell you that I already glued the things already. So, yeah, just let's just continue. So, now we're gonna do the flag. So guys, for our flag, we're going to be needing a pen thing. Uh, this is full, but uh, this is very dried up. So yeah. And we are going to be needing a white or like blue or I don't know. I'm going to take white colored pole to support the flag. Yeah. You can also take black, but... White is one of our national colors, that's why. So now you're going to like take the other part of it then see if you like the length of it. If you don't like the length, you can cut it off. So yeah, I am happy with this height. So now we're going to measure the paper's length uh, to match this whole length. After you measured its size, uh, move everything over, and then you need to cut a piece. Like I'm gonna cut this much. Hopefully it's enough. And if you want, you can cut this off. I am going to. Then you need to roll this up in the white paper like this i think you can glue it i'm not sure how i'm gonna glue this but i'm just gonna try doing it i'm gonna keep glue yeah this will work Close it like half. 
close half of it so that you can stick the flag there. So now we're gonna uh, make the flag. You will be needing some white paper. You can cut down a rectangular shape and actually you will need to make it a lot more like blendy. Like this. So this is half of the flag. I mean, this is the one that is visible. And this part, we're gonna stick it to the pole. So how we're gonna uh, paint it is by paints, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my paints and just paint it. We have to uh, get a cloth. And we have to get like a small thing. I mean, it's like this hard thing. See, imagine this is the paint. Then you're gonna keep this over there. Just dab it to make an, like a nice pixely effect. You're gonna take the paint over here. And then if you want, you can fold this. I am going to fold it. This much of the flag will be seen then you're gonna take your paint dabbing tool then you're gonna dab like one one third of it if you know math you can do it <laughs> And then you're gonna take a pencil and take a pencil, then draw a big circle, the Ashoka Chakra, the Ashoka Chakra, then draw a circle between it, then you can make the lines. It should look like this. And then when you're done with your um, saffron, the color orange, you have to take the color green. Then when you're done, you'll get this amazing Indian flag. It's very, very nice. After you got your Indian flag done, Actually bend it like that and you keep some like glue or glue stick. Then you smudge it. <laughs> Maybe not with your finger if you don't want to break them dirty. You can rub it with anything. Then grab the pole. That's how we make a, a flag. Still have one more DIY and it's a, a bonus. You take some bandage tape, you take some bandage tape and then you just fold it in like this. Also be careful on the spiky spiky part because you can tear your tape and then you need to start all over again i mean start from there yeah see i i just broke my tape then you take out your paint one more time then take your paintbrush then just paint your way in yeah i'm just gonna start now If you can see over here, it's like a nice, I did like a nice mechanism for it to dry well. And although I have a very nice idea, 
the idea is you take some little like plastic drills or something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep two of these because just they're so nice and glittery. So how am I gonna do that? With that, yeah. Looks super cute, but I think I'm gonna keep this over here. Oh yeah, that looks very, very cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit, and then I'm gonna show it to you. Done. Yay. Look, it's very nice. So yeah, guys, it looks so good, and. Thank you for watching this video and like, share, and subscribe for more DIYs and bye-bye!